Hi, Eric Olson here. And I'm going for a walk in a beloved park uh, near where I live and I discovered this interesting situation. So um, let me show you what's going on. So I'm standing in a creek bed and behind me, you can see all of this rock, all of this sediment, all of this material right here that got washed down into this creek bed, right? There's a big erosion situation up slope of this. But as I was checking out the creek, I noticed this big, beautiful pool. And so whenever we see a pool that is right after a big erosion plug like this, there's a reason for it. There's a reason why all that sediment is being held back here and why here is a nice deep pool. And the reason is because of a natural check dam. See down here in the creek, some trees have fallen over um, just as their roots get weak or there's a landslide or something, the trees fall over. And so what we see, as you can see right behind me here, is all of this material. Some of it fell from the slope, um, from the bank of the creek, and some of it got washed in and it's filled with leaves. So essentially what happened is that in high flows, all of that material there got washed out of, and it's come from a spillway of a lake that's upslope. And that spillway is eroding at a disastrous rate. And so tons, like literally thousands of yards of material has washed into the creek. But then what happens is as the water flows and moves all that material, is then it runs up against this brush check dam. You see this big log here and this log here and all of this material right here, you know, and it goes all the way up on the other side. See, and see how it's actually even keyed in way up on the slope, this big, huge trees like keyed in way up there. So the reason why that worked is because the force of the water was not able to move all this brush. And so as soon as the water hit this natural check dam, the water slowed down and as it slowed down, it actually started to deposit that material behind the check dam. And so the reason why we have this big pool right here, which is actually a great habitat for fish and other aquatic species, is because as the water ran in to this brush check dam, it slowed down and it had to crest over the top of all these logs and all this brush. And that made a little bit of a water drill. So it actually drilled out a pool, um, which increased habitat. So while this creek is having a hard time of it, right? I mean, here you can't even see any water where it's winter time. There's water underneath all that, but you can't see it. So this creek's having a hard time uh, and um, this erosion is a massive issue, but nature has a solution. And by all this brush and all this woody debris landing here in the creek, the creek has found a way to protect the downstream area and habitat from getting overly sedimentized, you know, filled up with all of this material. I mean, let's even just look at this material for a sec, right? Like this is, look at the size, look at the size rocks that are in here. This water must have been moving really, really fast. And you can see that there's a whole mix of fines and rocks and all kinds of material that came out of that big erosion gully that's up slope. So, Thank goodness for, uh, for this woody debris and this brush that fell here in the creek. Now we can mimic this kind of behavior um, to reduce erosion and protect our watersheds uh, in, our, in our own way um, by intentionally building check dams and uh, providing that function of slowing the water down so sediment can drop out, creating that scouring effect so you can dig out a pool and keep these watersheds healthy and safe for aquatic life. Uh, but of course, uh, we, we never wanna just do that in a named creek or a river or anywhere where you need to get permits that you have to get approval for. But if you're in upper drainages, um, erosion gullies where you have fast moving water in the winter time and a lot of erosion, this kind of a system, a brush check dam, logs, brush, sticks, here you can see it going up that side there, can be a powerful tool to protect the watershed. This is Eric Olson with the Eco Landscape Mastery School. Thanks a lot.